Here's up. Yep. So I'm sure you're wondering, how did that all happen? CNN correspondent Rosa Flores explains. But we should point out that the actual reported tantrum was not recorded on video, um, but we did obtain some statements that were made by staffers at the school that paint a picture. They say that this little girl was screaming and kicking over, keeping a pair of sunglasses, and that these uh, staff members were trying to calm her down. At some point, they called the resource officer to come in. The resource officer at that point tried to calm her down, but ultimately detained her. Now, we should point out that those exchanges with the officer were not recorded on camera. Now, I talked to the family, to this little girl's grandmother, to their attorney, and they say that they grappled with it, uh, Lynn, about releasing this video because they did not want this little girl to relive the nightmare. But after much debate, they say they debated for about a month, they decided to release it for a few reasons. They wanted the public to witness the severity of the situation and how the situation escalated, how this little girl was asking for a second chance, like you mentioned, and also because they want to rally support for a bill that's going through the Florida legislature that would up the arrest age for certain crimes to 12. Now, the little girl's grandmother also wanted to point out that this little girl at the time, if you remember, this happened back in September. The only thing new now is that this video has been released. She wanted to point out that at the time, this little girl was going through sleep apnea, so she was having these episodes, and she says that she had told the school uh, about these episodes. Now, fast forward to today, I, I, I should say that we, uh, after talking to the grandmother, she says that Kaya Roll is doing a lot better. She had surgery uh, for the sleep apnea and that she's sleeping a lot better. But the grandmother says that she's still having nightmares, that the little girl is still having nightmares. Our thanks to Rose Flores for that update. Now, the school issued a statement saying never did anyone within our organization request or direct the school resource officer to arrest the student. The Orlando Police Department apologized to the family and terminated one of the two police officers. The state attorney refused to pursue charges against the child. CNN has attempted to reach out to the former officer for comment, but has not been able to reach him. All right, police say a guy 